Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, new video on Zeta, which uh, has been uh, has been a success success story of yesterday. Um, it's been very bullish, all right. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on it, um, but I do want to preface this video, and I do want to start off with saying that I'm analyzing on the five minute time frame a crypto that looks pretty wicked, all right, and it's it makes wicks everywhere. Um, which was unintended, that pun. But still, um, so so is there any value in the technical analysis part of this video? It's probably limited, all right? So just so you know, because I I can already hear you if, if you're if you're a trader or a technical analyst, like I know this is not a this is not a great way to analyze. But there's still things we can say. I mean, it is respecting technicals to a certain extent, like the 200 EMA, and you can also just see that that the EMAs here and there are respected, and it is respecting levels. But uh, but Zeta is, is absolutely ridiculous. I bought yesterday at uh, 70, 73 down here, 73 cents. Also made a video on that yesterday. And yesterday we talked about that it was possible to get up to 1.1 and 1.25, which we did, but obviously we went much higher. Uh, and I'm still holding because I'm, I'm, I'm at least still holding 300 for the buy bit launch pool, all right? Because that's why I bought initially. And Zeta itself is also a little bit of a hyped up project. I mean, the project does seem to have potential. It's again, part of the airdrop narrative, which is going on right now. So Zeta itself is, is fine as well. Uh, but now the question is, what's next, all right? Zeta has rallied a ton. I mean, from, from the bottom right here at, uh, at 65 cents, we did like, yeah, we did 240 percent, which is which is ridiculous. And if you look at these these wicks, I mean, it's also it's also difficult to analyze that because it does seem like there's some wheels dabbling in the price. And that's confirmed if you look at the volume, like there's good volume coming from Coinbase and Bybit and Qcoin, but most of it is coming from OKX. And I'll tell you what that means, that that usually means that there's a lot of Asian or sometimes even Chinese volume and uh, Chinese volume is, is hard to predict. So that's difficult. I would say that it looks more bearish right now. I would say that we have rallied a lot already. So I'm actually leaning to be a bit bearish on Zeta. Now, I do want to I do want to look at some uh, so, some other numbers here. Binance actually launched it already. Um, wow, they did that pretty quickly. But no, don't they have the uh, the, the buy bit? Uh, no, they don't. Maybe this provides some value. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see that right now at the current price that the, the open interest is, is dropping down a little bit, which the only way we can actually continue going up is if the open interest keeps going up as well. So on the 30 minute time frame, it looks like this. Um, if it actually loads, come on. Yeah, so if the open interest right here, which I'm not sure if you can you can track that, it doesn't matter that much. Um, you can go to CoinGlass and then CoinGlass slash TV and you can track it for free. Um, but for some, I mean, it's easier on desktop, of course, but it doesn't matter. The, the main thing to watch technically is which one of the main support level or resistance levels is going to break first. All right. So you have 1.5 and 1.55. That's the or 1.5 up to 1.6. That's our main support level right here. Um, and then you have the resistance level right here at 1.9 one of those levels is going to break first and what is key is that you should just watch which one is going to break first and then you'll know more all right at this moment given the fact that we've seen a bit of a drop in the open interest i think it's a bit manipulated and i think we've already rallied a lot i think it's more realistic to to expect us to drop down so drop down below 1.5 and to start falling down towards 1.25 and if 1.25 doesn't support us enough down to 1.1 and potentially a dollar. That's that's very realistic at the current prices. Um, so I think that's most likely. But honestly, I mean, like I said, I'm still holding Zeta. So I, I would love to see a, a bit of a bullish breakout right here. And that's also still possible. Wait for that breakout. Monitor the open interest, all right? It, it's all in the open interest because that determines momentum, that determines hype, or at least it's, it's some sort of an indication of that. And that is what we need. We need momentum and we need hype then we can break out. But like I said, be prepared for the worst. I am. So those are my thoughts. That's what you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. If you would have wanted a signal to buy right here, consider joining my signal group, send it in there. Uh, but that's up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.